Uh, into the hatch. Dalstone Vault. For the greater dangerous scamps and useful minions, their nimble hands can carry and manipulate objects, and they are just intelligent enough to be cunning opponents in combat. And I'm about to face a whole bunch of them, right? A pure soul, Dosha. Don't fail me. Molagbal. Little scamp. Or another one over here. Oh, another three actually. Dosha. I've got you, Dosha. Here he comes. Buddy, get up. Get up. Try to rip my soul. You have failed me, Dosha. Standard, my head. You want to say goodbye? Notes, oh, there's notes right here. She almost had me. Thank you, comrade. Are you all right? Just need a moment to recover. If you hadn't come along, I'll be fine. Stand our willing. What was she yelling about wanting your soul? I heard her communing with the Lord of Lies. Molog Ball is harvesting souls for some dark plot. He's especially interested in the souls of the faithful. So what now? Comrade, grab that book and her notes on the table. I saw her scribbling after speaking to her master. We may be able to learn more about this plot. Learn what this Mortum Vivicus is. Grab them, then let's get out of here. Notes on the Mortum Vivicus. Since the Dark Master's plot was revealed to me, I've attempted to learn more of this weapon he holds so dear. According to historical records, the Mortem Vivicus was a gift from our lord and master to the unworthy king of a long forgotten city. Those unworthy servants stood on the verge of greatness. To their great loss and eternal shame, the fools were unable to accomplish the simple tasks our master set before them, and he withdrew the Vivicus from Tamriel. It was lost to the faithful. If the master's plan comes to fruition, if enough souls can be gathered to his side, the servants of the Lord of Lies would be more powerful than any mere king or queen. Truly, Tamriel would burn in the master's fire. The Mortem Vivicus was a gift. Okay. It's just a weapon? What is Dosha's journal. Is exactly what it says. Again, I'm fluent, fluent in that tongue. Okay. Don't ask me to translate. I can't do that. Anything over here? from a boat another entryway actually if we're going back to town I might as well just use this method of travel instead of going through another load screen I'll just go through one load screen actually it would have only been one load screen anyway 
and maybe a very tiny one. All right, back in Daggerfall. Oh, sorry, chicken. Where is Caesar Colors? Was I actually going back to town? Oh, they are. Oh, they're over there. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I jumped the gun. Thought Caesar Colors. I mean, she didn't say she was going to bring the guild, so that's my fault. But I thought maybe, you know, we'd resolved a few things. She's like, ah, he's got it under control. Why bother? Everything we find. Gee, there's a way shrine just over there too, which we can grab. Which will save me time the next time. I accidentally teleport a little bit further than I should have. Folks, if you wouldn't don't mind doing a favor and click the like button if you're enjoying the series. That'd be appreciated. Help, help the algorithm say, hey, people seem to like this. Do it on this in all future episodes. That'd be great. Oh. Alright. Didn't really like that drop though. Nor did my horse. Uh, maybe seasonal colour will just be right here. Uh, the Guildmaster of the Fighters Guild wants me to perform a task where I should take Merrick back to seasonal colours. Oh, Merrick just ran out though. He didn't need me to escort him. You are the sun on my scales, comrade. You've returned Merrick to us. He was captured by a necromancer, a follower of Molag Bal. Molag Bal. May he burn in the glare of a thousand suns. It's just like him to send an assassin to kill a noble warrior. That's a coward's weapon. She wanted him for something called the Mortem Vivicus. We found this journal and some notes. Sooth, the Mortum. What? And I can't make tales or scales of these scribblings. No matter. It's going to take time to decipher this scroll, but we'll put our best scribe on it. Is there anything else I can do? You've done a great service for the guild today, comrade. I look forward to drawing steel with you in the future. If we learn anything from the journal, I'll make sure you hear about it. I'll look for you down the river, comrade. You'll hear from us once we've decoded the journal. Okay. Merrick? Something tells me we'll see each other again. I look forward to fighting by your side once more. You sure you'll recover? Yes, yes. You sound like my mother, beloved though she is. I shall recover. Rejoice, for someday soon you and I shall again take up arms together. All right, Merrick, I'll see you then. Okay, so now I could really go back. Uh, we've got one of the Undaunted. Provision of certification. Oh, that's right, we've got to get certified for the other things. Well, let's go. Yeah, let's go, but we'll go back. It's 200 ace, that's all right. It is going down by the, by the dollar. Every second though. Maybe I could just make it back here. And save a little cash. So, probably, I don't know if I've explained my intention for this series, but I'll be going through the zone storyline. Um, for this guy's particular faction. It's the Dug F4 Covenant in this instance. I'll be looking to do probably a lot of quests, a lot of side quests as well. Once we get to the end of doing all that, I'll be doing the main storyline. And then after that, it's really entirely up to you, like you all, like if people are watching still and interested, whether I continue. But if there's the interest there, People seem to be commenting and liking and, you know, enjoy watching this, then I'll probably continue, but 
Um, I'll just sort of leave it up in the air until we get to that point, because we got a fair journey ahead of us still. I am also covering the other ally um, factions as well. There is the Sorcerer on the Ardmeri Dominion. Mighty Modra below. Let's go have a look at this. I believe I'll have and the Ebonheart Pact on the Arcanist. On the Arcanist. So you can check out those series as well if you'd like to see that side of it. Of course, there's that Master series I did, which went through all the zones in the base game. And that's just the Elder Scrolls Online playthrough. All right, Mighty Modra. Mordra. What do you want, ugly? You call me ugly again and you have to you have a fight on your hands? Ha! Is that right? Well then, sounds to me like you could be one of the Undaunted. The Undaunted? What's that? A league of like-minded adventurers. Every one of us eager for riches and glory. Sound like anyone you know? So, what do you say? Think you can be one of the Undaunted? Sure. I could be one of the Undaunted. Are you sure? You'll have to fight the largest, meanest monsters in Tamriel. It's not for the weak of heart. I'm not afraid. Then welcome. I think you'll fit right in. Once you prove yourself, of course. All you have to do is find a cave named Spindle Clutch. The one full of bloodthirsty spiders. If you can handle that, Return to me here, and we'll make it official. Spindle clutch? Okay. Enter the spindle clutch. Let's have a look here. Let's so get around that. Spindle clutch. Spindle clutch, here we go. Dungeon. Right, so we're going to have to go traveling. All the way up north. Well, you know what? We could take our time with that. Once we get there, we get there. And then I can do that particular quest. So that's fine. Just having a look. I heard that Dominion soldiers have landed at Farwatch. Can you tell me anything else? The elves landed, and there's been fighting throughout the area. There's a quest here in Shanta. Certification, I think. Is that in the inn as well? Well, let's get certified so I can get those two quests off the map. And then I think we can finally move forward. Just gotta find this person. Did look like it was in here. Let's so, say, Battle Master. I'd imagine I'd see some sort of marker on my. as I'm walking around here, though. Which I do not see. A lot of burping going on. A lot of drinking, a lot of merriment. There's nobody else in here. Must be outside. Well, let's go to the Mage's Guild. Looks like there's one there. This is just a bug or something. Danel. There is much more I can teach you. What else do you hope to learn from me? 
Provisioning and chat. Oh, you do it all here. What, what's it got a marker in the other place for? What can you tell me about provisioning certification? A provisioner condenses the essence of ingredients into food or drink. A true artist balances palate with nutrition. I can share this noble profession, but I can only certify one craft at a time. Understood? Oh, I want to be certified as a provisioner. Provisioning is a rewarding yet grueling profession. Gruel, you see. I am capable of levity on occasion. First, you'll need a recipe and some ingredients. Then you shall roast a pig. So a recipe for roast pig and a pig? <laughs> you'll certify me if I roast a pig? Yes, I hope you don't think it beneath you. As bards learn lyrics before singing them, provisioners must work from recipes. A recipe specifies volume, proportion, and preparation time. Understanding these principles is key. Well, I've got the ingredients to make roast pig. I don't know the recipe. What's next? Now, the moment of truth. Go to a cooking pot with your ingredients and follow the recipe. Return to me with the results, so your worth as a cook may be judged. Is it fire? Can I just cook it over here? Well, <laughs> got a problem if I cook it on this? No? Ah, oh, damn. Alright, I'll go find a cooking fire, I suppose. Gonna make everybody hungry around here. Roasting a pig. That crackling going. Alright, so. Roast pig. Put that white meat. Just double click on that. No, yep, that's all I've got to do. Craft away. Lovely. Completed craft roast pig. I should craft up some other to get that level going. Oh damn it, did he do that thing again where he just rocks up? <laughs> he could smell the cooking. Oh no, he's over here. Deliver it to him, and he went to the end. Oh, so that's why I'd list him as being over there as well. Guess it wasn't a bug. Bring me your culinary creation so I might inspect it. I'll determine whether or not you deserve certification. It's right here. Eat up. Hmm. Interesting scent. Do I detect a hint of Wamasu? No, that can't be right. Not how I do it, of course, but interesting enough to pass certification. You may now fulfill provisioning writs. Keep your pots warm and your ladle clean. Your command of the crafts is impressive, but not yet in totality. I am still capable of instructing you. I'm interested in chanting certification. Enchanters harness the possibility of ruins, transforming them into the certainty of glyphs. I'll teach you, but I can only focus on one certification at a time. Is this agreeable? I want to be certified as an enchanter. Potency, essence, and aspect. All beneath the stars bear these component concepts. When combined, they form glyphs which add enchantments to items. First, you'll find these component runes. Then I will have you create a glyph. I need to create a glyph to be certified? Absolutely, for such is the essence of enchanting. Runes of potency, essence, and aspect are the fundamental components of glyphs. Collect one of each variety before you return. I already have the runes you're talking about. We begin at the enchanting table. There you will combine a rune of potency, essence, and aspect. This simple puzzle forms a glyph. Now go, piece them together. I'll go craft that rune then. Uh, use an enchanting table. Jora creates trifling glyphs, Oko. Health glyphs. 
Ta creates common quality glyphs. Uh, let's ride. It's good to uh, see a little bit of speed on our horse now. Now, when I do this, hopefully, he just rocks up. Looks over my shoulder to make sure I'm doing the right thing. Oh, there he is. Don't go anywhere, pal. Prepare to be amazed. Okay. So, quest only, please. Create trifling glyph of health. Hang on a second. I told him I had all the glyphs. How come there's... It doesn't show up here. Uh, Jora Okota. Joro. Joro. Joro or Jora. 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 JJJ Jora and Ta. Jora Oko. Trifling glyph of health. Whoops. <laughs> Daniel. Craft a glyph using a rune of potency, essence, and aspect. Return when you have forged intent into form. Form accomplished. I have the glyph here. You should attach it to an item so you can see the enchantment's effects. You are now certified to fulfill enchanting writs. May you unravel the secrets of Nern. Your command of the crafts is impressive, but not yet. Alchemists are masters of the elixir. They trap the magic in a bottle for later use. But I can only certify you in one discipline. I want to be certified as an alchemist. As with master chefs, every alchemist must assemble the right components before crafting a special concoction. Are you so capable? We shall see. I require you to locate a solvent and some reagents. Then you shall craft me a potion. I need to create a potion to be certified? Yes. Every alchemical mixture requires a solvent. A pure liquid base, and reagents such as herbs and flowers. Now go, find a solvent and some reagents. Once you have what you need, return to me. I'm very familiar with alchemy already. I know your skill. I can smell the potency of your elixirs from here, yet I wondered if an accomplished alchemist such as yourself would be humble enough to learn from a master. So, are you? I want to. I want you to certify me. Very well. You remind me of a former apprentice. Now that you're certified, you can obtain and fulfill alchemy writs. May your titrations avoid the kind of shortcuts you took today. <laughs> Mastery of three crafts is its own reward. I got a few questions. Certainly. Please specify. How did you become a master crafter? Decades ago, before all the trouble. I was a renowned chef in Cyrodiil. I had engaged an exclusive contract to provide the Mages Guild in their travels, providing food and drink that wouldn't spoil when carried through portals. And how did you learn enchanting and alchemy? Broiling fish, forging glyphs, or mixing potions. It's all recipes and ingredients. I proved the theory when I joined the ranks of the Mages Guild. Mastered both crafts within three years. Not that I'm bragging. Of course not. All right. So we've done all our professions. Right? Uh, we can now do... Ritz daily... A daily task. To craft certain items. From here... Okay, let me claim this. Bound Crown Repair Kit. When used, this repair kit restores all your damaged equipment to its original condition. Another point to stamina. And now I've got a point I can spend in either the Fighters Guild or the Undaughter or the Mages Guild, of course. 
Oh, no, I actually haven't leveled that up enough. But uh, I could get Intimidating Presence. Which I think I'll do that. Because that unlocks... So now we can Persuade. We have our normal response, but we also got the Intimidate response. Fantastic. Okay, let's do one writ. Now that we've unlocked them all. So let's say this one. No woodworker, let's do a woodworker writ. Seeking skilled woodworkers to fulfill simple opportunities. Your bows, staves should make could make the difference. Carefully examine specific orders as you take them from the board. Pull a writ from the board. So they want maple restoration staffs. So I imagine this is for the war for Cyrodiil, all this war in Cyrodiil to help our faction. Hopefully I've got enough of what's required to make this. So I've got a creation, quests only. That's the item, it's all ticked. I can make this, doesn't need a trait, does it? I need to make two of these. So one, two, and they want me to make a shield as well, which is on the apparel side. Same thing, I just press R. Right, and I package all that up and deliver the goods to the wagon, I guess. Bound for Cyrodiil. Deliver goods to the quartermaster down below. Right past Glutton. Down by the water. The crate contains ample space for deliveries and a sheaf of manifest papers. Place the goods within the crate. Oops. Sign the manifest. The consortium set aside a case of woodworker supplies as a reward, along with a note of thanks. We'll never be able to look at a shield again without comparing it to your fine and detail. We haven't even seen it. <laughs> Lift with the legs. Always the legs. Well, I imagine it's bound for Cyrodiil somehow. Could be going anywhere though. I don't think you'd actually be able to go by a via boat to Cyrodiil. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay. What's this? Bad Man's Hollows, public dungeon. Explosion, fireworks going off over here. What's going on over here? Brother Galbert. Greetings in his name. Always happy to see new faces join us. Join us, join you for what? Why, the Harvest Festival, of course. Go on inside and see for yourself. Talk to Curator Nicholas if you'd like to join in the festivities. Oh. I like festivities. Let's go inside and join him. <laughs> 